everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Kitty here. I hope you're having a great day. It's the Sims Four Cats and Dogs Day today because I was lucky enough to receive an early access code from EA. Thank you very much that so this video is sponsored by them. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the new build and buy items that we got with the new expansion. This is going to be another speed run video. So I'm going to be looking at items very fast. I'm not going to show you all the swatches. So if you kind of just want to see all the new stuff, this is the video for you. I'm also going to be doing my first impressions because I haven't watched any footage or any live streams or pictures until now when I get to see the items for myself. So you're going to get to see my genuine first reactions on the new stuff. And we are in Brindleton Bay. Oh my gosh. I have not seen this place before and it looks fabulous. I love it. I cannot wait to start playing here. But let's get started. Let's look at everything. I also made a video on the cast items, so definitely check that out as well and see when my new Let's Play will be starting. So let's just start off with trees because there were some trees already on this lot. So this is the first tree and it does come in a few different swatches. I think this is super beautiful. I love it. We didn't have anything like that, so I'm super happy. And we also got birch trees, which I don't think we had. At least nothing like this. What did I just do? Sorry about that. Press the wrong button, but here we go. Some birch trees and in different colors. I don't think trees often come with different swatches, so that is really, really cool. And then last new tree is this huge new one. Beautiful one as well. I like it. We never get new trees. Oh my god. Oh my god, autumn tree. What the heck? Seasons, please. Okay, so those are the new trees that we got. I don't even know where to start. Let's just put a wall down so we can try out some new things. Let's go into wallpapers. We are probably gonna have a lot. So here we go. First up, we've got this little stripey one and it comes in a few different swatches like this. That's cute. Continuing with this one, I'm assuming they have the same kind of color swatches, which they do. So there we go. And next up, we've got this one. These are very cute and versatile ones that I feel like I will be able to use these anywhere. So that's a lot of fun. Then we have got a lot of these. I don't know what you would call these, but this kind of looks like what your roof would be made of. Are these shingles? I don't know. I heard some people call these shingles or maybe with something else. I don't know the proper terms in English. Oh, oh, shingles! Shack side shingles. Okay, these are the shingles. Okay, shaken shingles. Cool. Okay, this one has like a different uh, end bit here. If you go to like a corner of a wall. Okay, okay. Wait, let's look at a few different colors. So we just have very neutral colors. Lots of blues browns and like beige colors and of course white and black so these are very earthy tones i would say and we've also got some new planks and these look very cool these look modernish but can also be uh, for more traditional homes i like those i think those are a lot of fun so that was all the new wallpapers. Moving on to new floors oh wrong one here we go so we've got two new wall two <laughs> What am I saying? Two new floors, two plank ones. So here is the first one. Interesting, I always like the white ones. Okay, I like that. That can also be very modern, but also traditional. I like how there's like different shades to the wood. So this is really, really cool. Let's just leave like a brown color there. And then the other one is this one in the beautiful white. We've also got some beiges and some browns. Okay, this is really pretty too. And the blues. Okay, so I'm kind of getting like the color scheme for this pack from these. We, we will see if it's going to continue. We've also got some new windows, of course. Oh my god. Beautiful. So here's the first one, just a little one. That co oh, it comes in like a minty green. That's really cute. Here's the same one with a different, a little crisscross thing in the middle. Super cute as well. We've got a long one, the Teensy Winder. Oh, this is like a, wait, you can see through, right? There's no glass there. Interesting, we don't have anything like this. I'm finding it interesting that there's this minty color on all of these. But this looks cool. I think I can make some really cool builds with that. 
we've got a little, actually that's a two wide window, a little like half circle moon shaped one, which I think is super cool. We don't have that. Here's a bigger, quite simple, like regular old window, but a good addition. I'm liking the swatches and I like that there's a pure white. There isn't a pure black, but definitely like this brown one a lot. Then we've got a new round one. Wow, I love these. This is giving me such like a coastal vibe and it is a coastal town. So you can see there's like water <laughs> water everywhere so that is super cute so here is a longer version of very similar windows as that one here is oh wow that one is pretty okay i like that one i'm definitely gonna feel like a mini house look at this so that is cute and then we've got a big in oh i love this one a lot this one is so cute this is like such a suburban style of a window i love it but let's take a few of those out so we can check out the rest of these here's another big one another super pretty one. Oh my god the houses are gonna be so pretty here um what the heck is this <gasps> What is this called? Seaside Shorelight. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Imagine having this window in your house and just you can just look at the freaking beach or something out of that window. Uh, beautiful. And then lastly, we've got this interesting shaped window, which I think is a lot of fun as well. What the heck? That is so, so cool. Let's check if we have any longer, taller windows, which we do. So let's make this, let's make it the highest possible one. Let's get rid of those two. And let's check out this. This is so cool. Easy breezy arch and railing. This kind of looks like, you know, like an archway. I wish that was like a gate or something. That is super cool. And then nothing for the super, super tall wall height. All right, let's move on to, I don't even know. Let's look at these roof items. So we have got this little house thing for your roof. Here you go. You can see the whole thing. All right. Oh, in a lot of different, okay. Lots of different like roof uh, textures and stuff. That's cool. We have got a new chimney. Wow. <laughs> This is cool. Okay. Oh, wow. The red as well. And then we've got this. Oh, which is like that, but with a little... I forget what these are called on top. And it comes in probably the same swatches. And it comes as a cat as well. Cat on a half crescent moon. What the heck? Oh, no. It's not half crescent, but on a crescent moon. You can hear my cat in the background as well. That is so, so cool. I kind of just ignored the doors, so definitely <laughs> let's look at the doors, everybody. I totally like just forgot that I didn't look at them. <gasps> Barn door. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is perfect. We've got this little one, which is also kind of like a very barnish looking door. Clear old barn door. We've got cube crystal. What? Window door, okay, very suburban again. I love this, super pretty. We've got a best vet door, so for your vet clinics, with cute little like window decals, that is so cute, love it. We've got a big door, okay, this is so nice. I love the vibe that this whole, like these items are giving me this cute, like traditional, like barn kind of vibe. Oh my God, it's gonna be super cute when we start building. We've got this huge door, which can be very suburban. It kind of looked like they were like prison bars, but up close. It looks okay. It looks okay. That is cute. What the heck is this? <gasps> it's a doggy door. No way. Oh my gosh. Can cats not go through here? Oh no. Okay. This is so cute. Dog doors. Okay. Wooden pet double door with braces. So this is for like a bigger animal, bigger dog, I guess. But hopefully cats can use this. And this, this is like another big one as well. Those are amazing. And then we do have some bigger ones as well. We have new arches. Oh my god, we were lacking in the arch category in this middle, medium, height door so badly. I'm so happy with these. You guys have no idea. I wish there was like a square rectangle looking one, but whatever. This is cute. So that is so nice. So we've got that one. And then we've got like a longer, thinner one as well. I love these. Thank you so much, EA. Then we've got this big door. Oh, it's like arched. Very beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm just dying over this stuff. Never seen it before. So you guys can just imagine how excited I am. That door is so pretty as well. What the heck? And then again, nothing for the tallest doors. 
I don't even know what to look at next, but let's look at these wall sculptures. Okay, so we've got a few new one of these that I don't know what they're called, but I love this style. Okay, I'm in love with this style of this pack. Like, this is the kind of building style that I love. Apart from modern, <laughs> this can be modern too, but this is so cool. I'm, I'm gonna make some cool builds. <gasps> wild, wild wall planter, what? That is amazing, I love it. Oh my god, so pretty, no way. Okay, love that. And then we've got this little shingled awning, that's what I said, so I guess that can go like on top of a door. So there you go, lots of different patterns. And then a big one for a bigger door, kinda like that, so oh, there you go. <laughs> Let's look at some new columns. We've got one new one, new one. What? Oh, it's really tall because of the wall height. <laughs> I got so confused. There we go. Now it's a normal height. So it's just, I think it's nice. We didn't have this. So I think that's a really good addition. We got some new one of some of these. What are these called? Spandrels. What? Okay. That's what they're called. So it looks like this. I can't really show you guys. Oh, I can. There you go. That, oh, I don't think I did show you guys. Nope. I must be applied to a room, but you can kind of see it there. So that's what it looks like. Very cool. Let's get the wall back in. We've got some new fencing. Okay, so we've got this new fencing. Coastal Guardian Fence. Oh, I like it. And it probably comes, yeah, we've got all the different swatches as well. There you go. We've got blues and whites and browns. And this funny mint color as well super nice and then for gate we've got a gate to go with this what barn door double no way no way that is so cool i love that i just built a barn like a few days ago for my let's play this would have been amazing well we're gonna be building more barns go look at that i love it and then we the same railing. We have this gate as or this fence as railing for your new stairs as well. And we have got a new foundation that looks like this. Not gonna be trying it on right now, but there you go. You can kind of see it. And then let's move on to objects. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a lot of items. <laughs> this is an overwhelming amount of items. We're gonna look through these quickly. So the first things we have are these super new, super new, super cute new uh, like cat beds for your kids. I love those. We've got another new bed. What? This looks just like the bed from Parenthood. Maybe it is, but it just has different swatches. Like, oh, okay, these are cute though. I like that a lot. <laughs> and the cat swatches. Oh my god, I'm gonna build so many cat crazy houses. So here it is as a double bed. Thank you very much. Oh, and these swatches. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass out. Look at that one. That is so nice. That is literally what I have wanted the entire time. Thank you so much. Next up, we've got this like more traditional looking bed with really nice pillows and like bed covers. Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, we have got some like plain colors. Thank you very much. Then we've got stuff like this. Okay, okay, cool. Next up, we've got a little, oh, a little dog or cat bed. No way, super, super cute. So many different options, I love that. And here is another one. Oh, this is a big one. Sleeping station. If you wanna spoil your pets, you can get them this. That looks so cute and so, so like royal or something. So we've got a new chair, armless chair, which is this one. Okay, not really my style, but cute. I like the pink and here it is as a little armchair as well. I think this is cute, but it looks like they're like draped or something. And um, that's like super traditional, but cute. <gasps> no way, an ottoman. That is one seater. We only have really like the two white ottomans. That is amazing. This is something we needed. Sims team, you're doing amazing. Oh, here's another new chair. I really want a rocking chair. That's what I was thinking the other day. Can we get like a rocking chair? Do you guys know what I mean? Oh my god, look at these. I don't know. I think you would need an animation or something, but that would be so cool. Anyways, that's another new chair. Here are some new like kitchen chairs. This is like a cute little worn down wooden chair. And here's another one. This one, okay, interesting. What is it called? Snatch weave dining chair. Okay, what? Lost and furniture snatch weave dining chair? What the heck is that? Oh, that's so funny. So there you go. 
we've got that oh my god we've got even more here are these chairs as dining table chairs there's the pink one here's another one oh this one is really really cute i'm gonna use that so much oh my god we're gonna have a lot of oh look at that lots of cute patterns we've got all white which is always appreciated and then here is a bar stool as well which is the same style as this chair like right here and a pinkish color thank you very much next up is a new couch <gasps> what the heck so many cute pillows okay we don't have like super many swatches but we've got a nice variety that's cute and then this is more like a bench maybe outdoorsy also really really cute oh like, imagine on like a cute little patio i like it i like it a lot and then we've got okay this is an outdoorsy bench cute okay it changes the pattern oh we have a cat pattern what the heck that is so cute and then the, oh my god here <gasps> no way the bay one wait did we get some bay windows did i miss them or do you do like this with them here you've got one and here you've got another one and then you could put even one more like here oh my gosh i don't even know but that is cool we don't have anything like this and it has flowers so this is like an outdoorsy thing i guess here is the indoorsy one queen bay window seat what window does this go in i don't know i'm gonna check in a bit but here you go oh, pink swatches this is this is so beautiful look at these i love the pattern pillows i love the little storage area down there this is just amazing i'm gonna use that in every single build from now on i'm telling you and then here we have a cute little two-seater like high couch as well that's cute and here's another here's another window thingy what are these called I don't know. It's a love window seat. White love. What does that mean? Is that just the name of it? I don't know, but that one is a little bit more traditional. Cute. Next up is this. Wait, what? This is a dining table? Okay, so it's a tiny little cute like dining table. That's nice. Here's another dining table with the same wood, but this is like a big one. This looks like you like made this yourself if you're really talented. And here is a rustic classic table. Reminds me of the parenthood table, but oh my gosh. Okay, I like it. I like the swatches as well. We're gonna fill this lot. Okay, there's a lot of space back there. That's good. <gasps> what is this? No. It's a cute little side table. I love the legs of this. Super nice. I love how it's all wood. We use a lot of wood here in the Scandinavian countries. So I could definitely like relate to having these items in your house. Here's like a cute little antique cabinet side table thingy. And here is a little end table, which is cute. A rustic again, but I like it. I like it. What is this one? This is a nightstand. It goes with this bed, of course. It's probably like for kids, but I would use this. So it has cute little paw drawers. And next up, we've got another end table. This one's really cute as well. It's giving me the farm vibes again. Ooh. So here are the few different swatches. Oh my God, the black and white. That is beautiful. And another one. What the heck? Riggedy raggedy end table. So we've got this one. The white, this is beautiful. This is traditional, but like super beautiful. And then here is a coffee table. Okay, the model reminds me of the one from Vintage Glamour, which was the marble one, but this is wet. I think it's really cute. Oh my God, these are so nice. Moving on, we've got a little desk for like, you know, studying Wyla. So again, very traditional. We've got the drawers with like these knobs or whatever. <gasps> we've got some shelves. Okay, let's go back here and look at these shelves. So here is just a nice little basic shelf. I like it. Very simple. I mean, we need more just like flat ones without these little legs, but this will do. And then what is this? <gasps> no, the leash. Oh my God. This is where you keep your leashes for your, for your doggos and their collars. That is amazing. Wow. Okay. You're home. You're home. You're home. Entryway shelf. Okay. This is cute. And we don't have this. I think we might be getting stuff like this from the laundry day stuff pack, but that's not out yet. Okay. I love that. And here's another one. Just a touch of hutch 
This looks like it has like bathroomy stuff in there. So this could be like a big bathroom cabinet, which we don't have. We only have really tiny ones. And here is a big kitchen pantry thingy. China cabinet. Look at the freaking china on top. Wow. Okay, that doesn't change colors, but this does. And you got glasses and plates in there and bottles and all the kind of stuff. Very, very cool. Very useful. And we also got a picnic table. As you can see, we are speeding through these because this ain't gonna be a 50 minute video. So let's go. Okay, this is the same material as these tables over here. Cute. And it comes with a cute little umbrella thingy. No way. Okay, this is different anyway, but it's another picnic table. We don't have this. Super cute. Great for like restaurants too. And then we've got a new sink for your bathrooms, which is again very traditional, a bit of vintage look with that. And what a new toilet. Wow. Like how can they keep making new toilets? Like don't all, all toilets just look the same? Well, we've got a new one. And this is again super traditional. I love the little like accents here and there. It looks very luxurious. Yeah, this is a bladder 10. So wow, 1.2k. <gasps> and there's the litter box. No way. So this is like a, a lidless litter box. That's I guess what you would call it. We got a cute little variety of pastel colors and white. And here is one with a lid. Oh, okay. I thought there was no door. There is no door, but I it was just blending in. So here is one. Okay, no door. Interesting. Door would keep the smell in. I know, because I have a bunch of cats, but comes in a variety of colors. And here's, oh my god, we have four. So litter matic scoop free. Here is another one. This one looks like automated or something. There's something going on there. I don't know. And then we got this litter laser self-cleaning litter box. Wow, luxury. Can we have this in real life? That would be amazing. So that's a lot of fun. We also have got a new top for your Sims. It goes with the toilet so nicely. I love how this looks like shiny and metallic. I think it looks really beautiful. What is this? Okay, so this is stuff for the vet clinic. So this is Dr. Budget Bandages Medicine Craft. What? Craft eating? Okay, that's what it's called. I didn't make that up. So I don't know. We're going to see what to do with this in my let's play, but it doesn't look very good. It looks quite old. So I guess here's a better version of it that is more shiny and, you know, a better, but it's also a lot more expensive times, <laughs> two times the price. And oh, we got a new box. Oh my God. Look at these. Oh, coastal vibes. I'm thinking this is like a submarine. I don't freaking know, but I love this beautiful oh i love it and we got a new aquarium with a little oh it's like brindleton bay in there with the what is that called um white tower or something forgot what it's called in english but there it is and then next up seems like we got a lot of cat toys can we put them on a table somewhere or dog toys so here is a ball you know different colors rainbow all that kind of stuff okay it doesn't go on tables apparently so let's just put it right there here's a meow ball what the heck this is so cute it's a bird, okay, and then this one is a mouse, and here are the toys that you can play. Your sim can use to play with your cat. They come in three different swatches, so there you go, and here's another one. Oh, this one has, like, this one's a little bit different. Interesting what's in the end here. I don't own anything like this. There's always, like, a long, like, string with something at the end of it, like a little, like, feathers or something that the cats will chase. I don't know. But we have got some agility equipment. That's what it's called. Like, I don't know. But this is for like training your dog. So we've got little hoops here for your dogs to jump through, I guess. Uh, looks like we've got some other stuff as well. Here's a ramp obstacle. And what is this? This is a platform obstacle. Not sure what you're supposed to do with it. But we will definitely find out. Outdoor pet storation device. Okay. What the heck do you use this for? Is it just a decorational item? Oh, wait, what? There were items inside it like this, and then I placed it. Can you put these inside there? Uh, not in this mode, but okay. So, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what that is. And here is another uh, Mr. Ichi's Chest of Wonder. Wonder. So, I guess you could keep your uh, pet's toys in there. More agility equipment. We've got this. Oh, this. Oh, I know this. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, here's one more. Okay, so it is a toy box. Cool. 
we've got the curved tunnel. Where are we going to fit these? So here's a curved tunnel for your little pets to go through. I don't think you can make your cats do this. Oh, there is a cat pattern. That's a cat, right? Or is that a dog? I don't know. Cute, but... It but it's still fun just for dogs. If you can't make your cats do this, I'm super impressed, but I don't know because I haven't watched any footage. We also got a new public bathroom for outdoors. Again, getting that coastal vibe of this. Love it, super cute. <gasps> We've got some new food stands, no way. Foodies munch and go. All right, let's see from the side a little bit. That's so cute. Also this one, oh my God, seafood sampler, yes. Oh my gosh, look at those. And some new plants, no. Okay, tired plants, okay. Well, that's what these ones are called. Oh, I get it, I get it. See, they're in a tire, okay. Okay, let's pretend that I need that immediately. <laughs> and then we've got sapphire sunflower pot super nice oh i love the sunflowers and i forgot what those flowers are called but super nice and then we got juice barrel plants what the heck i love these items okay next up we've got this item which i saw in the trailer and i tweeted that this is a must-have in every home now so it's this <laughs> smitten kittens feline florals look at it oh my god i love the swatches literally going in every single house from now on you have my word <laughs> i'm gonna sneak it in there and i guess we've also got oh a puppy version version that has a different succulent in there no way how can this be so cute oh, can i have those in real life i would literally die Next up, we've got some pawing. Okay, so we've got some wall decor. We can move to this side. So we've got some little paw decals here. Let's put them in black so you can see another one. These look all very similar. Oh, here we've got some with little bones in there. Okay, so this is like a vet veterinary sign, only one swatch. Here is a life preserver sign. What the heck? It has a beer inside there. Okay, here's another pop sign. We've got this. Don't know what it says, but we okay. <gasps> An ice cream sign, that's so cute. Okay, we've got a lot of new wall decals here for definitely useful if you have dine out and stuff, you can have your own cafe or restaurant, you can make pops with these. Raise your paws. Okay, so these are, okay, these are rewards from the bed scale. So I'm not gonna open them because I don't wanna get too spoiled, but here they are. <gasps> What the heck? We've got cute animal decals. No way. Princess and Mickey, Gemma Lou or Gemma. That's cute. There are so many. Where do you use these? Cashew. That was the cutest name. Here is Apollo. Here is Goldie. Oh my gosh. No way. There's some treasure. Lunch. Slowberry ball. That's gross. No, no. Okay. That's no, no. Uh <laughs> He's called Dodge Duggett. Oh my god, of course. Of course. Cindy, a little mouse. We've got some food bowls. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy with these. I just know it. Poor reading. What the heck? That's so funny. We've got, okay, some more like vets ones. They have different swatches, but you guys get the point. I'm gonna show you all of them. Okay, you can definitely go all out with your vet clinic, not just a sign. There's a lot. These are super useful. That's a freaking burger. Three letter word sign, park ahead. So many signs. There's like 30 at least in here. What, what is this? Wait, does it have like scratch? Oh, there's scratches on the wall. Okay, from like your cat, the comb and hound. Funny. Okay, there is a lot. Just look at these guys. I'm gonna run out of wall space. What the heck is that? That one's funny. Um, okay, cool. Okay, I love these. Here's another two scoops. Is there an ice cream bar somewhere here? Because I need to see it. Here is happy clouds are happy. Okay, you guys can't see anymore. Let's get rid of that. Okay, we've got a new tree decal. Cute. I like the drawing style of these. Okay, I'm gonna need another wall, everybody. Oh no. Oh no, please still show me all the new items. Okay, okay, we're fine. So here are fish of the day. That is big and it doesn't come in more swatches than that. Here, okay, here's like a distressed version. Okay, we got a shrimpy one. Here's the shrimp, happiest crab in the world. When I move, they bug out, sorry about that. All good pets, that one's cute. 
Let's get rid of those so I can put some more stuff here. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we got a new dog calendar. No way. Oh, and a cat. That is super cute. That is amazing. Love that. I topped the bed today. Okay, this will be perfect for my last play. Just telling you. That's super cute. All about cat breeds. Oh, that's so nice. Look at these. Pet care. These are great to decorate your clinic with. Look at those. Oh, no. So cute. Okay. Cat's inspirational poster. Oh, no. That's so cute. Dog inspirational. What the heck? The dog one's like cute and that cat looks so sad. Here we go. Welcome to the vet. And um, coming to the vet office. There you go. <gasps> We've got a mouse hole. Uh, yeah, I think there might be some mice that come out of there that your cats can chase. So we've got a new painting. I'm super happy. <gasps> Here are all the swatches quite fast. This is so nice. It's like abstract, beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. I wish the frame would change color to white. Well, that's okay. Dogs night in. What the heck? No way. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, they're playing the game and they have like glasses and monocles. Oh my god. Same as Steam, you guys are funny. So here is a little like, I don't know what you'd call this, painting. Oh no, I didn't know you would have different swatches. Look at that with the captain and the cat and this cat. Oh my god. And the dog and the sailor. Beautiful. I love that. And here's another one. We're not gonna fit anymore, so it's gonna take we're gonna get rid of those. Old Brindleton a series, and here are some. Oh, no, look at that! Oh my god, I love these. These are super beautiful. Thank you so much. Here's a new mirror, very high mirror, but cute. Uh, we've got some new curtains. So this is a classic curtain, just very small, very useful because this is super versatile. We've got a more not so versatile one, which is fab in plate. Look at this one. This is fun. Where would you put this? No idea, but a lot of fun. We've got new recolors of these curtains that we got from the Toddler update. This is the same curtain, just with like cat swatches. I mean, pet swatches, I guess. Oh my god, no. No way. That is amazing. Love that. And we also got the version like this, but the these with the same swatches. You get the deal. Okay, basic Bella curtain. This is a little bit longer, but here you go. Oh, okay, this is really nice in different watch swatches as well. Very neutral swatches, which I like. Here is casual country curtains. Okay, so kind of like these, but a lot longer with different patterns. What the heck is that? So pretty. Love the stars. And then they also come in these speaker versions, of course, that I need to show you guys. Then we have got, oh my god, this video is going to be long, even though I didn't want it to. There are so many new items. Look at this. Wait. Are we seriously up here? And this is all cats and dogs. There are hundreds of items. So, animal directioning ink. Meow. Uh, here's an arrow. What? Okay, arrow. Then we've got not no barking here and not pooping here. Okay, cool. We've got a little law sign for your vet clinic. Uh, there's another one and another one. Sign marks the spot. And here we've got, oh, wait, let's make that a little bit bigger. Like a little fox statue. That looks like a fox to me. And then here we've got another. What the heck? These are pretty. I like them a lot. <gasps> More statues. No. So cute. So here is the cat one. Making them a bit bigger so you guys can see. Here's another one. Oh my god. Love those. And you can also make them smaller with the new patch as well. So here it is bigger. And you can also make it teeny tiny small. Oh, that's so cute. Love the dog one. And here is a billboard. Wow, does this come in different swatches? No, it's just one. Oh, no, it's not. Wait, why can't I select it? Can I? Can I? Okay, I can't. Well, I'll show you from here. Oh, what the heck? It what? It deleted the picture? That was odd. That was very odd. So here is the different one with the fish and the shrimp and the little crab as well. Very happy one. Here are, oh my god, they're booping. No way. <laughs> This is called the Booping Schnoops. Oh, and we've got a new Captain's Wheel. I like that. Then we've got Tomb of the Unknown Popper. 
No, I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, Grindel and Bay and Model. What? This is super cool. Who thought of doing this? This is so cool. This is going to be in the museum here, isn't it? I haven't been there yet. But look at that. That is, oh my god, that is amazing. Super cool idea. The Saint's Anchor. Okay, a really big statue for your world, I guess. Let's take it off because it's so big. Here we've got some nibble yums. Oh, we got pet food. Okay, I'm assuming, okay, for cats as well. Really big though. And here are for necessary instruments. Okay, so this is some stuff for your vet clinic. Here are oh, some cotton swabs. Um, so, oh, cotton balls. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So this could be in your bathroom too. Here are some cute little containers of uh, dog food and cat food. Or oh, this is dog as well, isn't it? And then we've got stack of books. What the heck? This is cool. I love the vibe. Honestly, this I'm just living for the vibe of this pack. It's, it's so nice. And um, we were definitely missing this in The Sims 4. So this is like a little suitcase with so many books on top of it. So nice. I'm just imagining all the builds. I'm dying. So we have pile of the sims daily i think this is like for your pets yeah it comes with pee stains that's gross but yeah all right if you got a little puppy you might need that we got these paw little prints on the ground as well and big ones and rustic paw accents okay and then we've got place food oh a food bowl mat have we seen food bowls yet i don't know but here's a new little mat where you can put the food really nice uh this is a welcome mat only cats are welcome and they come in these different swatches as you can see there is a bone one there is an actual bone shaped rug no way no way rug my belly old species rug <gasps> no no it's not just bones it's also fish it's also this this is my favorite no way look at that you guys know i would love that we also got some no dogs here no cats here and all poppers welcome cats rule this house okay and here is a rest your paw here rug a little tiny paw rug that's so cute okay a new half circle rug which i'm really happy about these are great for like entryways when you come in through the door and i love this one i love the texture that's really really pretty and then here's a line them up what does it say the perfect rug for a lover of lines. Okay, cool. Okay, and I love the different swatches. There's like more modern ones in here definitely as well. We've got so much stuff. Okay, more woven carpets. I love this one. Look at it. A kind of a limited amount of swatches, but that's okay. I mean, these are kind of what these rugs always look like anyway. So there's another round one. We've got, I love rugs. I can always use more rugs because rugs can make or break a space so love those here are two same sized ones in different kind of like abstract patterns and then here's a big rug i would guess marvelous mega oh my god definitely a mega match wow i like this okay and lots of different like modern swatches as well look at these love these ones and love this one and then if we take it we can make it smaller and it can fit smaller spaces look at that super super handy we also got two new fireplaces so we've got this one obviously you put it against the wall but i have move objects on so here we go and i love it you can put a painting here i would assume did we go through okay here's a painting i mean oops it's not against the wall if, or maybe you can just put like little items on there on the shelf i don't really know like that that's really cute though and then here is the big one with a mirror no way there's a mirror on top this looks so luxurious this is really nice and that i love this watch so much this is gorgeous great job and moving on we've got a dog a diagram okay some more stuff for your vet clinic there's the like x-ray thingy we've got some cute little different swatch ones little i don't know what you call them i was gonna call them icons but they're like little signs here's another one this one can be in white okay that one's really cute and here is the billboard i guess where you can put your own own little sign or whatever you want to what is this net o bios okay so this would go on a wall like this 
and it's like a fisherman's net but it has like a bunch of stuff on it. I don't even know but it's super cool and I'm really happy we've got it let's move back to this side because we've got some more wall items we've got a happy choose barrel super cute idea I'm sure these are in the pub or a bar by the coastal area that we have got down there Okay, two different variations. I think, what's the difference? Just what bottles are inside, I think. Here is the last sign you'll ever see. <laughs> what do you mean? Do we have too many signs in The Sims 4? Possibly. So, okay, so it just comes in different, like, wooden colors. We've got this crabby claw sign. What the heck? So would that be put that on the roof or something? Not sure. Let's move back over here for these, which are different crates. Okay, these are so cool for the coastal area. And these are really big, but I'm sure you can like put stuff on top of them, use them in your house. Except maybe not this one. This one's really big, but again, look at it. It's small now, so that's cool. And these just come in different swatches. Okay, there we go. <gasps> No, a new wall shelf, no way. I mean, a corner shelf. I love that. So this would go perfectly in a corner. So you could have a wall coming this way. And we don't really have these. We have two like really, really like traditional vintage looking ones. This one, look at the boat in there and the painting frames. Love that. New favorite item. Here's some more crates for you. Really big ones. And here's another one. Okay, super huge ones. Not sure where I'm going to put them, but cool. And here is a typical... Okay, this is a divider. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Okay. And it has like a cute little... What's it called? Nautical? Is that how you pronounce it? Different like artwork going on there. And here are the cat and dog food bowls. So here is the one. Is this only for doggos? Let's see. Nope, this is for both. There were some swatches. Here is a lot of modern. Oh, this is modern. It's made out of wood. No way. Okay, and then here are some like plastic swatches as well. That is nice. I like that. Thank you very much. And we've got Pro, pro, what? A programmatic pet feeder? So what? It feeds your cat or dog automatically when you set the timer. That's nice. And you can change the color of both of these. We've got a different one. And there we go. Yes! We've got a cat scratch pose. I was waiting for these. Super cute swatches as well. Okay, this is a must-have if you have a cat or they will ruin your furniture because they need something to claw. What? This is another coloring one. Oh my god, imagine if the cats could climb all the way up there. Maybe they can, I haven't watched the gameplay yet. Carpeted, okay, this is another cat treat, like a kind of a small version. We used to have something like this. Oh, it comes in cool swatches, nice. Here's one that has a, like a little hut, like a little box. D-box, okay, I don't know what it's called, but there you go, in pink, so cute. Okay, here's a bigger one, we're getting bigger and bigger. You can climb up here, jump up there, you can claw there, there's a little toy for your cats as well, love that. We have something like this in real life, which is cute. Oh, there's like a little hammock for your cat. They all have the same swatches, so I don't really need to show you guys, but this one could fit a lot of cats at once. And then here is the last one, which is very similar, just made of different like materials, maybe a little bit more modern in these swatches. Very cool. I'm very happy with those. No, oh my God. Mailboxes? No. No. Oh my gosh. Oh no, those are so cute. So there's the cat one and there's the dog one. I'm dead. I'm dead now. So here's a pet carrier. What? You can have pet carriers? What? Can you actually carry them? Only one swatch. So I'm guessing it is like a gameplay item. I don't know. Here is, okay, I don't know what this is for. Okay, vet clinic for sure. More vet clinic items. I'm sure we're gonna get to take a better look at these later. Okay, this is like a vending machine that is empty. So when you place it down, sure, sure, sure. Well, here's the exam table. This is like the old crappy one. And here is the new good one. We also got the surgery machine, the old one and the good one. We've got a new dresser which matches the nightstand and the bed over on the other side on this lot in the same color swatches. We've got some new, oh my god, some new plushies. So we've got Ruffy Schnugglekins. Oh no, love the scarf. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Dalmatian. And here's the cat one. And that cat one is called Big Puds. 
Oh, look at it. No way. Oh my god. Look at it. So cute. Okay, we've got a field lantern. Where can we place this? Right here. This is really nice. This is what I was looking for. Like, we need stuff like this. More in The Sims. I love that. And then we also got another, like, nightstand lamp, whatever it's called. Okay, with the cool, like, what's that called? I forgot, but this pattern going on here. What is this? Another table lamp, this one. Okay, I need to find a place to put this on. We're back here, everybody. So here is a super cute Brindleton night, what is it called? Light tower, okay. Light tower lamp, oh, I love that, super nice. And then we've got a big lamp here, not your grandma's lamp. <laughs> Okay, okay, it looks like it though. So, okay, cute different swatches, kind of traditional. We got some new lights, so here is one. I don't have a roof, but oh well. So this is this is cool. I wonder what kind of light they give off. And here is a really long one. That is pretty. Oh my god, look at the little like rope going around it. Love it. Here's another one. Oh, this is cool as well. What the heck? Very like uh, innovative I would say what the heck and then here are some wall lights so we've got this little one definitely giving me the same vibe you know coastal city here are some outdoor lamps so lamp post this is a wrought iron lamp there's some weird noises outside I hope you guys can hear them if you can I'm really sorry but that is nice like that <gasps> robo vacuum no way I can't place it though because it must be inside and I don't have a room. But I'm guessing your cats can write this. Oh my god, we don't have like any cleaning stuff like vacuums in The Sims. That is so cool. And here's a high-end one. Moving on, we've got some new bookshelves. Love this one. Very simple. Quite tall actually, which I like. It's gonna hit, go all the way up to the roof, which is very handy. We've got what? The floating shelves. Cool, cool, cool. Very traditional. And then we've got, oh, a dresser. I love this. This can be very modern as well. This is giving me the suburban vibes again. And I love that you can see inside because there's glass doors. Really pretty. And then we've got this, which is Highback's Haughty Dresser, which is another kind of like vintage traditional one, but really pretty. And that was it. What the heck? Oh my God. That was so many items. Look at this lot. Look at this. That's insane. Oh, here's a wall-mounted captain's wheel that I missed, but there you go. I'm still confused how you use these couches because there is no window that this would fit. Can I, like, make a, a shape like this and fit it in there? Oh, it needs to be smaller than that. Okay, so I can build this myself and it goes like that. And then I can put in some windows, I'm assuming, some smaller ones. And there we go. Okay, that's cool. And because now we have circular roofs as well. If you didn't know, they're free. They don't come from cats and dogs. Here you go. And these like pentagonal, octagonal, and hexagonal. Can't say those words, but yeah, we can put these. And then, oh, this is so nice. So yeah, there you go. That is all the new items. Build and buy items from The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite, which ones you're excited for, and what kind of builds you would like to see from me. I would really like to know. Thank you again for EA for giving me early access to this pack and hope you guys enjoyed my first impression. Sorry the videos still end up being kind of long, but give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon for the first episode of my my cat and dog let's play so excited anyways have a great day and thanks so much for watching bye bye